moment of the character uh, is actually in sections. They're, they're, they're clean um, scene lines in it, which makes my job a lot easier when it comes to doing the bends. Cause I can actually take each, each section by itself, clean it up, you know, get it real nice and whatnot, bend it, and then do the next section, do the same thing with that, clean it up, bend it, and then I can go ahead and glue them together. about right so now I've only drawn like half of this because I'm going to well, I'm, <laughs> oh nice knob nice man Yeah, guys, yeah. Yeah, that was um, the main reason why I had to kind of put a halt on my streams. Because I had gotten sick. You know, um, so I had to put my health first. So I'm doing that. Eat, eating, eating, you know, right. Um, working out and whatnot, all that good stuff. Um, you know, I had a really great personal trainer. You know, all that stuff just to get my health back up to where it needs to be. But I'm definitely back now for sure. Welcome back, Argo. One thing about this character, the way he's designed, as, as Nob, Nob can attest to, um, his head is small in comparison to his entire body. So I have to make sure that I, when I make this helmet, I make it as close fitting to my head as possible. Um, which kind of sucks because I mean, I can't put a fan in the helmet like I normally would to keep me cool. But what I will do is, I will line the inside with um, a felt. It's a great trick to do because felt is very, very absorbent. So if you line the inside of the helmet with felt, as you sweat, it's just going to wick the sweat off of your face with no problem. Um, also, one of the cool things about this helmet is, it's not a complete, like, covering the face and head type helmet. It stops actually about the nose area. So I'll be able to like from here down just drape a black cloth up underneath it. Cause there's, a, Cause there's also a grill that goes over the front of it. So I'll be able to get some air in that way too. Get this out of here. All right, so this is the first piece down. If you're gonna do a lot of pieces of something, it's kind of a good idea to like label like what section it is. That way you you don't do like two or something you don't need to to be done. Okay, so that's there. Next section, yep, just right below it. So I'll just cut this excess off, put that in the trash. Okay. 
Now I'm going to use this as a guide because the next piece actually attaches like, to this. Oh wow, that's not cool. Yeah, man, definitely sorry to hear about that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> hey Naz, what's up man? I know it's been a minute. Well of course man, you just some good work in Landmark. I can see why you need it. Oh yeah, man, definitely, definitely. Let's see if this tire is going to update for me. Whoops. Yep. Not an expert pound. There we go. That's where I put the pound sign there and it comes up as an X. Orby Juan popped in. Hey, Orby, what's up, brother? Man, it's good to be back. It's definitely good to be back. How do you guys like the, uh, the new camera angle? The top down view. be a little bit wider. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I remember before with all the issue with you guys being able to see like, you know, what I'm working on clearly, so. I think this is a good way to allow you guys that view. And in case you're wondering, yeah, I duct tape the camera <laughs> to the ceiling. <laughs> she a little shy.
Yeah, doing patterns is, in my opinion, one of the most important parts of your build. You know, because paper is cheap. So try to make all your mistakes on the paper. That way it saves you from wasting foam. <laughs> Duct tape is definitely off the hook. I'm a fan of it. Hey, what is up, Jiminy Man? been a minute dog how are you doing how's the family doing job is always good. More money. Hopefully less headaches. Yeah, that's set. That's about right. Okay, next section. So I heard um, that Twitch is actually giving a a um costume contest um, at TwitchCon. No, I think, you know, that, that's pretty damn cool. You know, they're giving out apparently a lot of money for it. You know, um, but I was like, I really can't afford to go to TwitchCon. I'm already booked for one con already, which is in October as well. But apparently they, they're doing something different. They're doing it to where um, if you're a streamer, you can stream that build, you know, on a channel, and, um, if you're good enough, they're going to select 20 people, and those 20 people will be able to come on down, pretty much on their dime, and then compete down there. So I was like, hey, I gotta build this costume anyway, might as well stream it. <laughs> Hey, Kakakura, how you doing? Ah, Kuro. Nice. Welcome to my clan. And thank Dragon you for the follow. Appreciate it. Know what you need, Argo? You need to go ahead and buy yourself a skunk that has been de skunked. You know, uh, I had a friend back on the East Coast that have, has one, and they actually are incredibly clean pets to have. They do be kind of big, but think about it. It's been de skunked, so only you know about it, or your friends, hopefully, your family. So if someone were to try to break in and they see that skunk <laughs> walking around, they'll haul ass out your place real quick, because nobody wants to be that funky. Nobody. You know? Well, baby, do you have your box turned on? Um, it should be. Yeah, the bot is on. We never did your bag or thing. Let's see. I haven't put too many, um, too many new commands in my bot, um, just because right now I'm working off, I, I got a new computer, so, um, I haven't had a chance yet to really fill it up with all the commands, I only got a few in there, 